Previously on Chandler Alexis Vlogs. Wait, you didn't make it to your meeting that you were supposed to have yesterday. Last minute. No. Coconut water in a coconut. Lenard went over there and he was like, hug me, brother, and we all left. Because now we can't even talk to that man. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a fun, kid-friendly game. Yes. Well, like, I have an unpopular opinion about TanaCon. Everybody watch you what I do. Come walk in my shoes and see the way I'm living if you really want to. My go-to lip gloss is literally my Fenty lip gloss. That shit saves my life. It literally looks so pretty without even having a base underneath it. So totally recommend. You know, free plug for Rihanna. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chandler Alexis, if you didn't know. I am currently on my way over to Malibu. You know, Malibu who? I haven't been to Malibu in a long time. I can't even remember the last time I've been to Malibu, but I'm so excited. I'm going to an Instagram beach party. However, I will say that the last few days have been too much. I was gonna say emotional, but they're not like like I don't care. Like I'm not emotional about it, you know. But like they've been a lot. It's been too much for me to handle. I'm completely exhausted by certain people, which you probably already know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna be talking about what's been going on at the end of this video, just because I know if I talk about it in the beginning, y'all are gonna click off anyways. Like, but um, so yeah, stick to stay, stick around, stay tuned, stick around, stay tuned till the end of this vlog to um, you know, hear about what's been going on. You know, the tea sisters, the tea. Yeah, it's just a lot, a lot. I literally um just got in my car. I'm leaving like my area that I live in to head over to Malibu and I just finished talking to Kayla which is one of the guys that you know has been staying in the, the apartment complex I live in so he kind of knows what's been going on but I kind of you know talk to him about it and I'm just like it's just it's too much it's too much I'm completely over these people like the the people involved and I just want to make this video so that you guys can understand what's been going on because I don't I hate when I like stop putting people in my videos and people are like what happened to them what happened to them why aren't you friends with them anymore like you know, I'm not a normal person. I guess I can't just like stop hanging out with someone without people questioning why I made that decision. But just know that the decisions I make are always what's best for me and what's in my best interest. And you guys will kind of understand more of that towards the end. But I do want to say like police did have to get involved in the situation. And I actually do have to go to the police station tomorrow, either later today or tomorrow. Depends what time I'm done with this Instagram party and how much time I have to get to the police station. But I do have to get to the police station because um, I'm putting a restraining order on those individuals. So, I said individuals, really weird. But yeah, those individuals. So yeah, that's the morning tea, you know. Um, got me some coffee. I don't usually drink coffee. We have like a coffee um, station in our apartment and I never... Actually, I've used it before, but I rarely ever use it. However, like I said, I was talking to Caleb and he made some coffee and it smells good. So I was like, you know what? I need some coffee too. I'm a little, I am a little tired. So hopefully the coffee helps. But yeah, I'm super excited for this Instagram party. Like, I'm just ready to have some fun, some light vibes, you know. So I will see you guys once we get there. Hopefully it's a fun time. I also hope you guys like this vlog though. And if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Join the vlog fam because we'd love to have you. And I mean, if you ain't a part of the vlog fam, then what the hell are you doing with your life? It's free, it's fun, subscribe. Turn my notifications on as well. And then, and yeah. By the way, I look so cute in this green little outfit. Like, I didn't think I was ever gonna wear this green top ever again because I was like, eh, it's not cute. It's too bright for my liking. I like black, I like white, I like gray. Color is just not in my vocabulary. But apparently today I was like, I can pull this off and I'm wearing like this bright green bathing suit from Zaffle underneath it and I just think it looks so cute so yeah that's what we're doing today we're breaking all the rules today maybe it's you maybe it's me too maybe I, I wish we could
should have brought my mic with me because I'm not sure how clearly you guys can hear me because of the wind, which sucks because I actually just got a new mic at VidCon that I easily could have brought with me. It plugs into your phone and everything. It's so cool. I guess today would have been the best day to try that out. So I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me, which is why I'm talking really close to the camera. I'm walking over to where I think I'm supposed to go for this Instagram party. I'm not sure because when I was driving, it literally like had it pinpointed on the side of the street. So I'm not even sure if like where I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh, my, oh my god, I'm a mad. Oh. <laughs> Hello, babe. How are you? I know you were coming. Right in time. Yeah, I got invaded. Oh, yes. Hello. It's so cute, huh? Right? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh. Oh. oh, this is so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me get the story there. We just made it into oh, the oh, event. The lighting is not that good. This is so cute. Thoughts, Denzel? It's cute. <laughs> I'm hungry. I just want food. <laughs> they have a candy station. This is so cute. Look at these donuts. How cute are these? Me and Chris are going to go eat this on a bench. Okay. We have lemonade. Different flavors. Oh, thank you. Can I get a strawberry as well? Look at this, y'all. You have they have french fries on a brick wall. We've got tacos over here. Uh, they're kind of gone. Oh my god, I want fries. Yes. This is so cute. Guys, the sand in my feet. I don't like it. Me? Yeah, Look. bitch. I'm a ride carry. <laughs> Look how cute it is down here though. I, I just don't like the I sand. Really do. I know I'm getting it's all in my toes. I don't like it. Ugh, but we want oh. to get a cute Instagram pic somewhere. Put your back into it. Put your back into it. Hey, put your back into it. <laughs> Guacamole, but I promise it's a taco underneath there. It's so good. Yeah, sadly, it's not working. Guys, I'm about to play this game where you have to like shoot an arrow at the wall and you can't hit the white, which looks pretty easy. So, I got this. Can the white one? Yeah. They're currently trying to film a video for, who is this for, Roy? Roy Purdy. Roy, he's over there. Ricky's about to fall off this rock. Ricky, you're gonna fall. I'm gonna throw it to you, ready? Oh, my step. Oh, my step. Oh, my step. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm done. Look, he's like chilling over there. Oh. <laughs> Guys, like my new glasses, they match my outfit. <laughs> They're cute. I am going home now. It's literally like 5 30 almost. The Instagram party was fun, but there isn't like really much to do. Like, it was just like one of those, like, you know, get some food, get some drinks, and say hi to everyone. There's no alcohol, so like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Yeah, now I'm gonna head home. I have an hour drive, which should be fun. 
I look like a hot mess right now. Like, oh my gosh, my eyebrows. I need some lip gloss. I feel like I always say I look a hot mess. Like, what's new, you know? Okay, so I decided that since I'm going to be driving home, and like you just heard me say, I have an hour and four minute drive. Well, I'm an hour and five minutes now that I might as well talk about what I said I was gonna talk about at the end of this vlog and talk about it right now just to save time because when I get home, I need to edit. So, oh my God, there's so much traffic. I'm like trying to keep my glasses off so that you guys can see my eyes and stuff, but like it's so hot and I really wanna turn on my AC, but the AC is gonna make too much noise and you guys won't be able to hear what I'm saying. Basically what's been going on is, you guys are hearing it first. No, I am not friends with Nicole or Daisy. And I am not gonna make an entire video dedicated to why I'm not friends with them because honestly at the end of the day It's more personal preference than anything. They just showed their true colors at VidCon and I feel like it always happens at VidCon I invite my friends my friends to VidCon and that's where I end up finding out their true colors and how they really are and Long story short. I just found out that they're clout chasers now I'm not even gonna directly say that Nicole is a clout chaser but I'm gonna say that she's guilty by association because she was with Daisy and she was like okay with the choices that they were making. The only reason I'm gonna say this is like, the only reason I'm even talking about this is because I don't want people to be asking me, what happened with you and Nicole and Daisy? Why aren't you guys friends? You know, blah, blah. I just wanna make this video to, you know, put things to rest for you guys. Long story short, Daisy and Nicole got very, very drunk at VidCon and they ended up breaking a toilet in someone else's hotel room and you know that had nothing to do with me i was not there like i said they were super drunk and also you guys have seen in the vidcon vlogs i didn't even spend time with nicole and daisy i saw them like the first day maybe a little bit the second day but after that, you guys will notice like they're not in the vidcon vlogs and it's not because like i didn't want to hang out with them like i literally would call them every day and be like are you guys good like do you want to meet up and they were like oh no we're fine we're doing our own thing and i'm not even gonna say like i had a problem with it except um the times where it was like oh i'm gonna go to a party do you guys want to come um, and they were like no we're doing our own thing and it's like I'm not doing business right now I can actually like I have time to hang out with you guys and you guys are saying that you're doing your own thing but I was like I'm not gonna even trip out about it because I had my other friends there too you guys so I hung out with Nicolette I hung out with Ryan I hung out with Noah like I had other friends I was hanging out with so like I wasn't gonna make a big deal out of it but if I was there and had no other friends to hang out with I would feel kind of like feel some sort of way you know because I invited them to come to VidCon with me and they barely spent any time with me but like I said it wasn't a big deal so yeah they ended up breaking someone's toy and this was at like 3 in the morning and the guys whose hotel room they were in that they broke the toilet um, started calling my phone like 3 in the morning I'm literally like laying down in bed and like they're calling me at 3 in the morning talking about you need to come get your friends your friends are drunk like they're in our hotel room they can't be in here I literally have text messages to prove like these guys were like we're gonna kick them out of our hotel room they'll be in the hallway like if you don't come get them and keep in mind guys you, you guys know me pretty well I'm someone who it's like if you make a mistake you need to fix it yourself and like own up to it the mistakes you made and fix it like we're all grown adults Daisy is older than me she's 22 and Nicole is 20 and I am 21 if I can handle my liquor then you guys should know how to handle your liquor or just don't drink and so when these boys were calling me at 3 in the morning I'm like they need to come to the hotel like they, they know how to get to the hotel and so he was like um no like can you just sleep over at the hotel with them because I guess they fell asleep and I'm like I'm not sleeping <laughs> at a hotel with four guys that are like you know all like no not happening honey I'm perfectly fine in my bed right now and so I was like I will come and get them but like in an hour and so I get to the hotel in an hour I walked in and Nicole was naked and then Daisy was in a bed with a guy and they were all just sleep and so I'm literally trying to wake them up and they're not waking up like I'm literally I, at one point I thought they were dead until finally like I shook them enough that they were like Ugh, you know but they were so drunk that they like passed out so at this point the guys were just like it's fine just leave them here like whatever so I'm like oh my god I just wasted my time coming over here to get these girls they're not waking up and like I shouldn't even have to be picking up picking them up in the first place it's not my responsibility I did oh my goodness I didn't invite them here to babysit them you know so I left and then the next morning they came into my hotel room and I just like I was just like what you guys did wasn't cool but like I don't even have time to talk to them about it because I had to go to a meeting so I went to a meeting and this is kind of where things went downhill I go to this meeting and one of the managers that I had a meeting with was a manager of one of the guys whose hotel room the girls broke the toilet in. And so I had this meeting with that manager and then another a girl manager. And we're there, we're 
talking, it's going great, so I thought. And the meeting comes to an end, and as I'm about to leave, the guy manager goes, by the way, Chandler, you need to figure out what you're gonna do with your friends in that toilet because it needs to be fixed and or paid for. And I'm just like, wow. Like, I'm literally at a business meeting and because my friends broke someone's toilet, it's getting brought up in this meeting. And now I look bad. Like, you know, I look bad to these managers because they, like, they see me as like a girl who's brought these crazy ass girls with me and they're doing shit like that. Like, at a hotel, it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's one thing to be in your own home and you're going wild, but to be in someone else's hotel room, it's just terrible. Like, it's rude, it's disrespectful, and it's embarrassing. Now I'm just upset. Like, I, was, I wasn't angry at Nicole and Daisy, but I'm upset because I'm like this affects my business and I told these girls that at the end of the day um, and this is something you guys should know too at the end of the day I care about my business way more than I care about my friends because at the end of the day friendship does not pay my bills and apparently it's hurting my you know my bills being paid because they're giving me a bad look I also forgot to mention I gave these girls one rule they were staying in my hotel room while we were at VidCon because my management got me a whole paid for hotel room with two beds so I told them that they could stay in my hotel room and so I gave them one rule. I said the one rule of VidCon is that for my room, my hotel room, is that you can have people over, that's fine, but I need to know who's in my hotel room at all times because I have expensive things. I have my laptop, my cameras, my camera lenses, my Beats headphones, my chargers, like all kinds of like expensive things laying around my room, my MCM bag, like you know what I mean? That I didn't want anything to be stolen. Doesn't mean that I don't trust the people that they bring around, but I just wanna know who's in my room at all times so that if something is stolen, I know who could have possibly stolen it. So anyways, after this meeting, I go back to the hotel room and I walk in and there's a guy in my hotel room. Now I do know this guy, however, that's not the point. The point was that I was not aware that this guy was in my hotel room. On top of that, he was in my bed. So I was definitely not okay with that and I texted them in the group chat. Like while he was there, I texted them and I kind of gave them a look like, really? So I texted them and I said, I told you guys one thing, one rule, and it was that you need to tell me when you bring someone over. They both look at their phones, read the message, and then like giggle it off and throw their phones down and ignore my text message. So then I then responded that if they're gonna continue this behavior, they will not be invited to any more events with me. And I meant it. They continued to ignore it and you know, I was just over it. I was fed up, I had to go to another meeting, so I left the hotel room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I left the hotel room. Later on in the day, however, I came back to the hotel room because I had to get ready for a party, which is a party I invited them to and they said that they were good and they were fine doing them, you know, doing what they were doing. Um, I go into my hotel room and my sink is now flooded. So I'm like, what the hell are these girls doing? Like, and by the way, they were day drinking, so they were drunk when I was in the hotel room. Um, but I get in there and like my, my sink is flooded. And I'm like, oh no, like I am so over this. Like first the guy's toilet, then bringing strangers, not strangers, then bringing a guy into my room without my permission and ignoring my text messages. And then on top of that, you now just flooded my sink. And like, keep in mind guys, yes, management paid for my hotel room, but my card was on the hotel room. So like if anything was broken, I would have to pay for it. And so it sucks when it's especially not your doing. You know, I was there, I brushed my teeth that morning, the sink was fine. I come back and you guys are gone and the sink is broken. So it just doesn't make sense. So I texted them like, you guys broke the sink, you need to fix it. And Daisy responds, I knew you were gonna say something about that. It wasn't us. Like I asked the maids to fix it, but it wasn't us. And I'm just like, hmm, who was it? Casper? Like what is wrong with you? You're 22, learn to take responsibility for your actions. So I then called Nicole and I told Nicole that I was over it, like that this was not okay. And in response, Nicole was like, I totally understand. Like, I'm so sorry. She was like, I just think the best thing for us to do right now is for me to take Daisy home, like for Nicole to take Daisy home and for Nicole to go home as well. And I never told them like they needed to leave. And I was actually just going to say, you guys just need to cut out the drinking because that's what seems to be causing these problems is whenever you guys are drunk, stuff like this happens. But I was never going to be like, you guys need to leave because of course I wanted to have my friends with me, you know? So, but when she said that, I was like, you know what? That actually does sound like a good idea. At least if I know they're not there, there's no problems that they can cause. So so as I'm talking to Nicole on the phone and she's like that she's telling me that she's gonna leave and that she's gonna take Daisy home she then asked me like where am I and at this point I was just like they don't need to know where I'm at keep in mind I was in the hotel room so Nicole's like I like where are you where are you I'm like don't worry about it just you guys get your stuff like you guys have the keys to the hotel like go ahead get your stuff whatever she's just like okay okay whatever so then she hangs up the phone and about 15 minutes later I hear them at the door Daisy and Nicole, Nicole walks in first, then Daisy. And then six, about six, four to six guys that I've never met a day in my life start walking into my hotel room. And I'm like around the corner. There's like a hallway that they walk through and then I'm around the corner so they didn't see me. So when they finally do see me, Daisy turns around and is like, oh no, 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 you guys gotta wait outside. 
and I'm just like interesting because you guys thought that I wasn't in the room they were gonna bring six random guys like it was one thing for them to bring that one guy that I knew like the day before or I mean earlier in the day but it's another thing to bring six four to six I can't remember exactly how many so don't quote on the number but it was like four to six guys that I've never met a day in my life into my hotel room those guys could have easily picked up all my stuff stole it you know and I never would have known who it was and it's all because these girls wanted to bring them so now I am over it you know before I was like I don't care if you guys leave like you could stay you know whatever but now at this point I'm like nah y'all gotta go Daisy walks over to me and I'm sitting on the bed and she goes I'm not fucking drunk why the fuck do you keep saying I'm drunk and I'm just like whoa <laughs> don't yell at me especially not in my own hotel room and especially when we're in the same room and I can hear you you don't need to raise your voice she's like I'm not I'm not I'm not but like you just keep saying I'm fucking drunk and I'm not fucking drunk and I'm just like okay Daisy that's fine get your stuff go you know like I'm over it and so she continues to yell so at this point I told Daisy that she needs to get out of my hotel room and she's like no I'm not getting out however she walks out of the hotel room at one point and I close the door behind her so she can't get back in later on though Nicole opens the door to go out and Daisy decides to walk back in even after I told her so that she could not come into my hotel room anymore so with that happening I decide to call security so I call security and I let them know like security's on their way and at this point Daisy like stayed out we literally got all her stuff out and they go downstairs but they took my my card key with them like the, the door key and I like they did not need a key because I knew that if they had a key they would come back whether that was when I'm there or when I'm not and I didn't want that to happen so Nicole gave me her key to the door but then Daisy was refusing to do it so after a little bit of convincing Nicole was able to convince her to give me my key back at this point they are now supposed to be going home right and I'm good for the weekend I can relax <laughs> wrong they ended up staying and they ended up because I got them badges and wristbands they had the credentials to be in the building of VidCon and be in the lounges so these boys that they found these social media boys that they are now clinging on to they followed them around for the rest of the weekend they're at parties they're at the lounges they're at the convention they did not go home and now I'm more this is what kind of ended my friendship with Nicole because she told me one thing and she did another thing and on top of doing another thing she did something that's still gonna make me look bad because no one cares like no one gives a fuck about who Daisy and Nicole are all they're known for is being my friends and being my plus ones so when they're doing shit that looks bad, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's Chandler's friends. And I did not wanna be associated with the kind of behavior that they were having at all. That's what made me mad, and that's part of the reason why I'm not friends with Nicole. You guys can already figure out the reason why I'm not friends with Daisy, basically. I'm gonna skip the minor details and just give you guys the cut down. Moving forward from after they left, uh, Daisy split her finger in half because she was drunk, and they ended up sleeping in the hallway of a hotel. Not my hotel, but another hotel. They snuck into Tana Mojo's birthday by using my name like telling the people that they knew me because you could get in if you knew someone and so they got into Tana Mojo's birthday party by saying that they were with me when they were not you know I still was not worried about it though I was just trying to ignore them and you know focus on myself until the next thing that happened was that once I left the hotel room and checked out the last day of VidCon um, the girls sent me pictures that they were in my hotel room after I left and so one they were not supposed to be in my hotel room because i took their names off of the hotel so i thought and two like what reason would they have to be in my hotel room you know that's creepy it's weird and then they send they send me pictures of them going through my trash which i'm still unsure if that's illegal or not i'm gonna find out but um yeah they sent pictures of them going through my trash that is so fucking weird like that is stalkerish and it's harassment like to be sending me pictures of you guys going through my stuff so at that moment i was like i'm done with both of you guys like no not okay i called security and had them removed from my hotel room i then blocked them on all social media and blocked their phone numbers but of course that didn't work daisy continued to call me from random phone numbers from other friends who had my phone number she called me from their phones uh, just would not leave me alone every time i would answer the phone to like a round number it would be her and i would hang up i wouldn't even listen to what she had to say but she continued to call me from these random numbers right VidCon ended on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So Monday, I'm at my apartment and I find out that Nicole and Daisy are in the same building that I am in, but they're in like someone else's apartment. And I'm like, oh hell no. So it's one thing for you guys to be in the vicinity of me when I'm in a public area. It's another thing for you guys to find someone who lives in my apartment or who's staying in my apartment and come try to be in the same, like my apartment complex where I live. Like that is not okay. So fast forward though, it's now one o'clock in the morning and 
I get a knock on my door and it's like a heavy knock and I was like oh I think it's Nicole and Daisy because I knew they were in my building and I'm like oh hell no I'm not gonna answer the door to them because like why would I want to you know I'm literally ignoring y'all it's one thing for y'all to come to my door so I'm like oh I'm gonna ignore it then the knocking continues and it's like heavy knocking like doom 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 at one o'clock almost two o'clock in the morning so I open my door and it's four niggas and two females who I've never met a day in my life. I knew the guys, but I did not know the girls. So I'm like, what the hell? Why are y'all at my door? And they go, oh, we're here to get, get a hoodie. A hoodie that I had taken on accident. So I'm like, what the fuck are y'all? Are y'all fucking psycho? You got six people rolling. Like, Nicole and Daisy told them where I lived. So I'm like, y'all, you got six, six people rolling up on my apartment at two in the morning. Oh, you got me fucked up. This is not cool at all. So I told the boys, I was like, I will bring you the hoodie in the morning because it's in my car. And they go, no, you don't have a choice. You're gonna take it, go get it for us right now. And I'm like, excuse me, are you threatening me? He was like, no, I'm not threatening you, but you have no choice. Okay, first of all, the word but implies that you are threatening me. <laughs> so um, at this point, I'm like, oh hell no, I'm calling security again. So I call security and I'm like, yeah, there's people at my door, they don't live here. You need to come handle this and take care of it. Um, security came and removed them from my doorway. And um, after that, I then was like, I'm not okay with this, I'm calling the police because the fact that these girls are now sending people to my door, is not okay especially when they don't live here they shouldn't be in the building at all like oh you got me fucked up like i'm the last person you want to mess with so at this point i then called police i was like fuck my security security's doing this petty shit and they're not what i want i called 911 so i called 911 and they were like okay we're sending a police officer to come talk to you and talk to them and remove them from the building and i'm like perfect but of course i told the boys i was like i'm letting y'all know because some of the boys that weren't at my door i am still cool with and i didn't want it to like this situation to affect them because they had nothing to do with it but if the police came all of the boys would be kicked out of the apartment because none of them live there they're staying in an airbnb which is illegal to do in my building and so they would have all been kicked out and none of them like most of them are living like out of live out of state and are just staying here so i didn't want that to affect them so when the police called me and said that they want to know if they still want to if I still wanted them to come this was at like four in the morning when they were finally like able to come which is crazy three hours for y'all to come really or two hours um I told them I was like I don't think the girls are here anymore because they had like my, my cousin watched their story and it looked like they left so I was like I don't think they're at my apartment anymore so there's not an issue there's no one banging on my door right now but I do want to move forward with what I can do. So she let me know that I can go to the police station and file a report and also put a restraining order against them, which is what I'm going to be doing. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, from like two o'clock until maybe like three o'clock, they kept calling my phone from no caller ID, like would call my phone every two minutes. Like I'm not even kidding, let's throw up those screenshots on the screen. Um, and that is harassment, it's not okay. Um, I really like, I honestly, I sound so calm right now, but I was so pissed off and angry and irritated when I'm literally just trying to get some sleep and you know, do my own thing and y'all are sending people to knock on my door, y'all are, are calling my phone continuously and I already blocked you on all social media so you wanna try and reach out to me through other phone numbers, like that's harassment. So yeah, that's why I'm not friends with them. Hopefully that answers everyone's questions. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the situation. Do you think I made the right choice? Do you think I made the wrong choice? Do you think, like let me know, what are your thoughts and opinions? Would you have done the same? What would you have done differently? I'm just curious to see how you guys would have handled that situation. At the end of the day, I'm perfectly fine with how I handled the situation because I think like, you know, I was fed up. I was just over it and I couldn't do it anymore. And at the end of the day, my business matters more to me. My image matters more to me than any friendship that's gonna put that at jeopardy. You get me? That's it for that story. Um, I do wanna say to Nicole and Daisy, I wish you guys the best of luck without me in your life. Good luck with anything you are trying to achieve. You know, I only wish the best upon you because honestly, I'm out here doing the best for me, which was dropping you guys. And I just want you guys to now, um, you know, better yourselves. And hopefully you're able to do that just without me in your life. You know what I mean? So good luck to both of you. Um, to everyone else watching this video, hopefully you, guys, hopefully you guys can learn a huge lesson from this. I don't know what that lesson was. Um, maybe it's not to be drunk and stupid. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm going to end the vlog on that note because I have a lot of editing to do once I get home. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, join the fam. And remember, comment down below what you thought of the situation. Let's, let's chat in these comments. I'm Chandler Alexis, and I'm signing out. Mwah.